Nick Wild Web, heavyweight, 11 and 0, 9 knockouts. Subscribe to Sport and Icon for your latest boxing news. Come! Right, so I've just managed to watch the Bellew vs Hay second press conference. It was interesting, that's for sure. Um, David Hay was playing the humble character, if you like. Um, you know, he was saying that, uh, you know, you humbled me, Tony. Uh, you know, you've got my respect. You beat me, the better man won, all that kind of thing. Whereas Tony Bellew was trying to rattle David Hay's cage. He was really trying to rattle it. I mean, as far as selling the fight goes, you have to give that one to Tony Bellew. Um, considering that David Hay's a promoter, you'd have thought that he would have engaged a little bit more. And he was being humble right the way through it, and Tony Bellew was trying to get under his skin, but on the outside, it wasn't working. On the inside, David Hay is seething. You can kind of see that, that every part of him is screaming out that he wants to rip Tony Bellew's head clean off. Um, so Tony Bellew kept um, saying about, um, you know, the first fight you said this, and then you said that, and, you know, I'm the worst champion that there has ever ever been um are you saying that you lost to the worst champion ever been and loads and loads of things like that and of course he had to mention about the fact that uh, david hay did threaten to put him in a coma so his wife and children will never see him again or sorry correction the british boxing board of control will never give him a license again to fight but here we are round number two if you like so it was an interesting press conference. Eddie Hearn didn't say anything really um, other than to pretty much open the show. Uh, clearly he's tired. He just got back today from uh, New York um, where he's been promoting the Jacobs and Jared Miller and Katie Taylor event. So he sat there just drinking his coffee, trying to stay awake, I guess. But Tony Betty was the one selling this fight. No doubt about it. And... David Hay, he was very, very humble, very, very respectful, which is out of character for him. May I say, out of character for David Hay. Maybe he's got his promoter's hat on to a point, but of course, as a promoter, you want as much hype around an event as physically possible. And he didn't do that for this one. I think that was pretty much his tactic, and Tony Betty didn't like it. He wanted David Hay to turn up and start shouting at him. So then he's then got something to go on with uh, David Hay, um, in case David Hay says something else uh, controversial. Although at the very, very end, David Hay did let slip when he said a prediction of a violent knockout. And he could see that he didn't mean to say the word violent. <laughs> but um, of course, quickly, uh, Tony Bellew pulled him up on it. Um, it's a shame about this fight, really, that it's lost its momentum. It's lost its hype. It's almost been lost in the shuffle with all the great fights that's going on with uh, Joshua versus Parker, White versus Brown, uh, Kel Brook returning, Wilder against Ortiz on the other side of the water. Loads of events coming up. And this one is almost being forgotten about. And a lot of it, I think, is down to the fact that because it's a rescheduled rematch and where David Hayes pulled out of so many fights before, people aren't really trusting him to turn up. And that seems to be the common theme. That's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm hearing a lot of, which is why the tickets have not sold out yet. And whereas a lot of people are probably nervous about booking hotels because obviously not, not everybody can get to London and back in the same day. Not, not everybody lives in London. Like a, for me, example, you know, I live in Newcastle and that would be like a five, five and a half hour drive from Newcastle to London if there's no traffic. But you know that there is going to be traffic, so there's no point me driving all the way there to come back the same day. It's going to be too time consuming. I would have to book a hotel or obviously stay with family, that kind of thing. So, and that's what a lot of people will be worried about. Because while you might get refunded for your tickets, you're not going to get a refund for your hotels and booked time off work and all that kind of thing. So anyway, I hope this fight does go ahead. Um, David Hay, I believe, is very, very confident of beating Tony Bellew. His opinion of Tony Bellew has not changed regardless of what happened in this press conference. It hasn't changed at all. It's a situation where he's sat there and you can see that he's just thinking, I'm going to hurt you real, real bad. And he's just going to switch on the night. 
he's going to go for this humble guy and he's going to go like a raging animal but of course last time that's what he did and that was pretty much his downfall the fact that he was swinging for the fences but this time he needs to do what he's very very good at which is box he can box and set up traps in order to unload the haymaker so anyway it's going to be an interesting one that's for sure as i said tiny bellew did everything he could to try and get under david hay's skin on the outside it didn't work on the inside i'm pretty sure it would have done had i been sat there for david hay i'm not too sure that i could have held myself back but david hay did he was very very humble very gracious if you like so i'm still expecting fireworks in the ring and i'm looking forward to it so that's on may the 5th which is incidentally on another rematch on the same day later in the evening or early hours of the morning even will be the triple g and canelo rematch as well so it's going to be a good day for boxing that one anyway drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up subscribe catch your next video